What's up everyone, this is Victor Cologne and in today's episode, as I promised you in the last video I posted on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be sharing with you my personal opinion and thoughts about the Catalin Botezato for him, which is truly a majestic fragrance I that just blew me away from the first time I smelled it. Alright, let's do a quick unboxing of it. Right, this is the perfume itself, very clean presentation, I really like that cap, we'll get into it. Now, I just want to tell you guys a quick history, I mean, pretty much a life history of Catalin Botezato. So, he is not only the biggest fashion designer from Romania, but also the best. You won't find anyone better than him from Romania in that category. So, he started his career in 1984, right? So... Since then, his popularity grew so much that now he's just a living legend. He's an icon. Everyone knows him. Everyone knows uh, his collection in terms of clothes. Uh, that perfume is such a masterpiece in every single way. I mean, you can see that he just put a lot of effort into making this a truly fantastic fragrance, which I truly and absolutely love and adore and what can i tell you about him he's just a living legend as i told you but an interesting fact about him is that he was the first fashion designer from the entire world to get the permission to shoot some videos in the antique environment of egypt so can you believe that he got the permission from those uh, people from Egypt to shoot some videos with his collection in Egypt. That is such a huge performance made by a human and so I really appreciate him and his work in general and his perfume. This is on a whole other level. Alright, now I'm just going to come closer just to show you the design of the bottle itself because it's so clean. I truly love it. Let's go. Alright, so this is the bottle itself. As you might see, Catalin Botezato written in here. For him, Eau de Parfum, 100ml. Pretty basic stuff. The cap is so unique. It's a crown. Just look at that. Look at how nice it feels to put a cap being a crown. It's just on a whole other level in terms of design, in terms of the smell of this perfume. I truly love it. Alright, so at the bottom of the bottle itself, we got some useful details. You know, Eau de Parfum, uh, made in uh, UAE. It's, uh, you know, useful details just like most perfumes put on uh, the bottom of their perfume bottles. So, in terms of design, it's very clean. I really like those sharp edges of the bottle itself, as you might see, those are really sharp, um, very cool and very clean at the same time. Alright, so I think it's time for you guys to know the notes of this perfume. So when I'm talking about the notes of a particular perfume, I'm talking about what flavors you feel in the air after a certain period since you apply your fragrance. Alright, so in this case, we got top notes, middle notes, as well as base notes. Top notes are those flavors you feel instantly after applying your fragrance. So if you just spray your fragrance and right uh, in the moment after you are going to sense those particular top notes. Alright, so middle notes are those flavors you feel after around 10 or 15 minutes since you apply your fragrance. I personally feel them in general after 10 minutes since I applied uh, my fragrance on my skin. But this depends on uh, the skin you have. So maybe on your skin you are going to be feeling those flavors later or earlier. It depends. Now, in terms of base notes, those flavors, you are going to be feeling them after more and less than 30 minutes since you applied your fragrance. In my case, it's definitely uh, more than uh, 30 minutes. I feel them at around 60 minutes since I applied my fragrance, but I told you once again, this is how I feel them, this is when I feel them. Uh, maybe on your skin you are going to be feeling them earlier or later. It depends. 
All right, so in case of this perfume, the top notes are agarwood, vanilla, bergamot. So three ingredients in the top note category, and those are particularly sweet ingredients that make this perfume a sweet but very sensual one. All right, so the top notes of this are explosive. They are going to fill your entire room with those sweet flavors. I just can't express how much I like the top note category of it because uh, of the way the sweet ingredients blend with each other so that a nice aroma comes out of them. All right. In case of the middle notes of this perfume, we got incense, amber, cashmere root, as well as jasmine. Again, kind of sweet ingredients used in there. The cashmere root mixes with uh, the jasmine, in my opinion, and they form a very well-made combination, a very kind of a truly fantastic combination because that scent that uh, is following out of those two that just combined is... Uh, I, I've never smelled anything like this combination before, so those middle notes are truly unique as well. So, the top notes and the middle notes are fantastic. I'm going to say again, those are fantastic. Now, in terms of the base notes of this perfume, we got caramel, patchouli, musk, sandalwood and vanilla. Of course, vanilla needed to be in the base note category, uh, even though it was in the top note category as well, just because the base of a sweet perfume might be formed out of vanilla and other ingredients as well. You know, sandalwood, vanilla, uh, patchouli, patchouli is a very nice ingredient to have in your fragrance as well. And I think this is, this fragrance build is one of the best fragrance builds I've ever put my nose on. Because the way the top notes, uh, followed by the middle notes and the base notes just mix each other, even though they are going to pop in after... Uh, different periods of time, the way they just blend in is unique and I truly love that about the base, the base notes, the top notes as well as the middle notes of this perfume. So at this category I'm going to give this perfume a plus because I truly love it that way. Now I just want to spray some of me just to reconsider how the smell spreads in the air uh, I'm going to go with 5 sprays for this one, um, let's just see, right? Oh man, that combination, man, I, I just, it blows me away, it blows me away, I better say, every time I just put this on me, because it's truly special. That sweetness of it, it's not like a sweet perfume in general, it's mixed with those other, um, you know, top notes in it. And the way they mix, the way pretty much the vanilla mixes with the agarwood and the bergamot is something I think you shouldn't miss out at any chance just because of that unique scent. It is sweet, but sweet in a very very good way, in a very very good form. In, in my opinion, this is sweet to me. This is how sweet should smell. Not that sweet, so you know, it's considered a women's fragrance. This is sweet in a very masculine way, in a very sensual way, in a very seductive way. I just truly love how this spreads in the air, uh, knowing that those top notes are going to be feeling that good in the air, as well as the middle notes and bass notes, but as I told you before, those are going to kick in your nose later on. Alright, so right now, guys, I think it's time for you to know my personal experience with this perfume. So when I'm talking about my personal experience with perfume, I'm referring to how uh, it performs on my skin. So. The performance of it, the projection rate of it, as well as my my personal experience of it in general, like where I prefer using it. Let's start with the performance of it, which I think is totally explosive. Uh, I'm just going to put this perfume in the beast mode category, 
because I got at least 13 hours of usage with this. This was still on my skin after more than a half a day. Can you imagine that? Those, those flavors in the basal category were still on my skin at the time and very good performance this one, definitely in the base mode category, in my opinion. Maybe on your skin are going, uh, the results are going to be different, but on my skin this performs in a very, very good way. I truly like the performance of it. Now in terms of the projection rate, this also performs very, very well when you're talking about the projection of it, because in the first five and a half hours, people that walked past me felt this perfume in a very intense way and they were more than a meter away from me. I got so many compliments for this one just because of that. Even the projection rate, so when you apply your fragrance it's going to stay five and even more hours when you applied it, uh, since you applied it. That's a very good time, that's the time it is going to spread in the air in a very majestic way. All right, so in the first five and a half hours, people that walk past you are going to notice you're wearing this masterpiece, this truly unique and special product. This, this is just so unique. I truly like the performance and the projection rate of it. Now, in terms of my opinion, where to wear this, I consider this as being suitable for both work and party environment. Because as I told you before, the sweetness in it isn't that sexy that you just couldn't wear this at work. This isn't similar to the Paco Rabanne 1 Million and Exir, or you know, the Jean Paul Gaultier Ultra Male. Those are two examples of fragrances that you can wear, in my opinion, only in party environments. I think this is different. I consider this as being suitable for work as well. Just because of the pure sweetness it has in the beginning, in the intermediary stage of it, as well as in the end. So unique, a truly special vibe in it, a truly special scent in it. Um, in conclusion, I would totally recommend this to you. It is worth it. Grab it. Uh, have this in your collection. Catalin Potezato didn't mess with this one. It's unique. It's totally a masterpiece and it represents him and his personality. He's a legend. He's a living legend. He's an icon. He's truly a very well-known man in the world. And I think this fragrance should be well-known as well because it's just it's crazy how good it is. It's definitely in my top 10 of my favorite fragrances of all time. I truly like it. I truly love it better said. And I recommend it to you. Buy this one. It is worth it once again, I tell you. Alright, so I think that is going to be it with the review itself. Don't forget to like my video, share it with whoever you want, subscribe to my channel. And in the next video, guys... I'll be thinking of a special perfume, just like those I have reviewed till this moment. And I will review it in detail, as I did with those ones. And I tell you from now, that particular perfume is not going to disappoint. Every fragrance in my collection is special in its own way, and this is going to be the case here as well. Stay tuned, guys. This episode where, where I'm talking about that special fragrance is going to be uploaded the next weekend because I post twice a week. So stay tuned, that particular perfume is going to be special. You will absolutely love it, I tell you from now. I'm just going to be thinking about it, but it's going to be worth it. Thank you guys again in conclusion. Have a nice day.